Tom here from Learn Systems, and we're going to do a video about how to do policy routing, really simple policy routing in PFSense in terms of if you have a device or a network and you have two different gateways or two different internet service providers and you'd like to route things out one or the other. Now, this can be expanded. It can be worked with more than two internet service providers. It can really work with as many as you can get connected to your PFSense. This also works, and in the demo we're going to be using today just to keep things simple and I don't have to blur out a bunch of IP addresses and show my office IPs, I'm going to be using the PIA gateway as our secondary ISP. It actually works the same whether you're using a gateway connected to a privacy internet, which is what I'm going to actually be doing in this video, or if you have multiple ISPs. That being said, if you're curious about setting up privacy and internet I have a link down below to get that going in PFSense, and I have the same segment about policy routing in that. Also, if you're wondering about bonding dual WAN connections together, I have another video on SD-WAN and how that works because there is a lot of confusion of how some of the networking works, so I put a video together to clarify that particular question on SD-WAN, bonding connections, and how TCP streams actually work and how you can't just have two internet providers and get double your speed. It's a little bit more complicated complicated than that. But to keep us on topic, those videos are linked down below. So let's get started with this particular video here. I want to start with a diagram of our layout. And it's really simple. We have our PFSense, two WANs, a LAN. This IP address here is the one we're going to be SSHing into to do our testing, which is 172.16.16.41. We have ISP1 and ISP2. Now, I'm using ISP1 and ISP2 as kind of placeholders here. That's a normal setup where a lot of people have redundancy via failover, but this really comes down to any gateways that you have attached, whether they're an ISP or some other gateway, as I mentioned in the beginning, such as using a privacy internet provider as a gateway. The policy routing is still the same because it's done on a per gateway basis in terms of which way you want it to route out. We're going to use a site called ip.info. It's just a really simple site so we can use curl from the command line in order to pull the IP information and show where that traffic is landing. It's basically asking, what's my public IP address? And that obviously is going to change. IPinfo has another handy feature because it will let us pull which organization it sees is coming from based on the ASN number. Look up ASN numbers. You kind of understand they're essentially the ownership blocks related to IPs or groups of IPs. So you easily identify who the provider of that ASN is. And this is an easy way to do a demonstration. I listed the IP address of IP ipinfo.io because 34.117.59.81 is the IP we're going to use to create another type of rule. Now, I want to show you the different methodologies for creating rules so you can know you can do this more than just by source device inside of PFSense, but also by destination. So we'll do a couple different demos here to show you how that works. Now, you don't have to create an alias, but I prefer to have an alias because usually there's more than one system you want to route out. So that is the first step we're going to cover here. We created an alias called YouTube Policy Demo, demo for YouTube policy routing. It's a type host alias. There is the demo device as we had. And the reason for this, as I said, if we wanted to add more hosts, whatever those hosts might be, for example, my computer is at dot nine, and I could say that's Tom's computer. And now Tom's computer will be able to go out. Now, when you edit an alias, it allows you to not have to update all the rules where this alias has been applied. Because if you had other networks, such as 192.168.1.5, you could copy this rule to each different network segment. So you could have one place that does all the routing out the different gateways, even though it's across different segments of your network and different subnets, and one alias would help cover that. But for simplicity's sake, we're just going to keep one device in here, the 172.16.16.41, and call it my demo device and just click save. Now let's head over to LTS Tom, where this device lives. And you'll see that we have just a basic wide open rule that allows things to route out the default gateway. You know, it's going out the default gateway because there's a little asterisk there, which means whatever the default gateway is set, that's where this is going to route out. Now, if we go here to add, pass LTS Tom, IPv4, change it to any. And now we have to choose the source. And single host or alias is what we're looking for. And when you start typing, the aliases will auto-complete. So there's our YouTube policy demo. And any single host listed within that particular alias will then route out and follow these rules. Destination, and you can go wherever it wants, but we want it to go out a specific gateway. So we click the advanced and just scroll down here at the bottom and change the gateway from default to either forcing it out to my 
WAND HTTP for my Wide Open West or PIA VPN. So we'll put it as PIA VPN right here and click Save. Hit Apply. And now if you mouse over this, we can see my demo device and then we can see route is going to be this gateway, the PIA VPN. And you have the rules at the top and they go down. That's very important because if this route out rule was the matching one, the first rule that matches, it doesn't go any further. So this does need to be on top in order to have that work. So let's go ahead and take a look. Run curl ipinfo.io. And then it's going to give you the public IP address coming from my PA VPN. Now, pretty simple. It's got all the different information, the region, the country, the org. And let's actually focus on the org. That's a feature that this particular service has. So if we go to curlipinfo.org, it'll say just data cap limited. So pretty simple. Now let's go ahead and switch back. We're just going to temporarily disable the rule, hit apply, go back over here, run it again. And now it says wide open West Finance. That's my primary inner provider. So pretty simple to switch back and forth from something being an alias. And as soon as you apply these firewall rules, it's pretty instant because the request goes out, it reaches out, sees that it's supposed to route over PI VPN. So it does so, brings back the info, and that's the gateway it routed out. So pretty straightforward to get this turned on or turned off for any devices. Or if we wanted to, and show another demo here, we'll open up another tab and run the same thing, but we'll do just the curl IP org. So we'll copy that, open up a new tab. It says wide open West finance. We're doing this directly on my computer. So we can go and actually edit that alias. So we'll re-enable it. So that's enabled. While it's enabled, we'll just do one more time with my computer. It's going to show finance. Go here, add a host. My computer is actually dot nine times computer. You can see that my computer is now in the list. Go back over here. And now my computer is now routing out PIA. Pretty simple to get these in and out of here. So we want to get rid of that in alias. I don't necessarily want my computer routing out that for now, but we'll just go ahead and edit the alias again and we'll hit delete and hit save again. Now let's talk about kind of a different way to do this. And that's actually doing it by IP address. So we can actually choose a destination IP, not on the internal, but on the outgoing side. This can easily be done with an alias as well. And we can say, we wanna make a rule that anything, and we'll disable this rule first, and we're gonna add a rule. Anything that's headed to a certain IP address will always go and retrieve out of a specific gateway. So the source and we'll change the protocol to any and we specifically want the destination to be single host or alias we're just going to use a single ip address specifically we're going to use the ip address right here this 341759.81 this is the ip info.io so we go here and we're going to go ahead and say that's the destination and we'll go to display advanced scroll down to the bottom change gateway and this is going to route out the pi vpn so we hit apply now before we do the test, let's just walk through what this rule means. And it rule is IPv4 source any system, not just these ones. We want the destination to be this. So if the destination where IP we're going to, we're gonna route that one out specifically out of PIA VPN. So with that rule being said, if we go to the curl ipinfo.org, because that's the IP address of that, data camp limited, I can actually do this. So it'll show all the IP information. And if we were to do a ping of ipinfo.io, you'll see it's that IP address. So it's actually routing out anytime the data is destination for that IP address, it's gonna route out there. Now there's actually something else we can do. So we can go curl ipinfo.org and by default, when you have curl, it's doing this based on HTTP, not HTTPS. So we'll go ahead and implicitly list that. Info.org, or if we do HTTPS, info.org, we're going to get the same response both times. So let's change this rule up a little bit here. And we're going to modify it so the rule works based on not destination IP address, but actually based on whether or not you're doing HTTP or HTTPS. So you can do this based on a specific TCP port. Now to get this working, we're going to go any we're not going to worry about the destination address. We will go ahead and leave our single horse. We'll only want this so it doesn't start routing all of my traffic on that particular network out that uh, gateway. And the protocol is going to change to TCP. That opens up these options here. And we don't want to save from any. We can filter it down to HTTPS. 
So now just to walk through the rules again, if it's a TCP call, the host alias matches someone on our YouTube policy demo. Destination could be anywhere it needs to go, but you're asking for 443 as well. And that gateway is still down here at the bottom. So we look at the rule in summary. We see the YouTube policy demo for this IP address, router.vpn, if it's 443. So now if we go back over here, if we do HTTPS, it says data camp limited. But if we do HTTP, wide open west. And that's because, well, we didn't say route things looking out port 80. So now you can do it based on that destination port. Either one of these are valid ways to do this. And maybe you want to have a list of ports or services or destinations, or maybe you have certain devices you want to route certain places. You always have to just remember the rules are all from top down matching. So the first rule matched will be how that works. So if this rule's matched, it's gonna go here. And then we can have this rule to say, nope, we want this one routing out here for anything else. But you gotta think about that from a matching perspective if you have a series of devices. But that's all you have to do to get policy routing working. I will leave links down in the description right to PF Census documentation on this. There's actually plenty of documentation on their dual WAN failover. I will eventually make a new video or maybe you're watching this in the future where I have a newer video on how to create failover groups. I will leave link down below videos I have related to this topic such as setting up a privacy VPN with the policy routing for that, which does cover this section as well. But I wanted to mention those other expanded options you have with it. Leave your comments and thoughts down below or head over to my forums for a more in-depth discussion. And thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video. If you've enjoyed the content, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. If you'd like to hire a sure project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click the Hire Us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there's a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the description of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts that we sell and designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thanks again for watching and look forward to hearing from you.